afternoon. I'm Anne Marie Espinoza, Executive Director of Communications and Marketing for Uvalde CISD. Please understand, at this time, we come to you to share information. We will be providing a statement and not taking any questions, for the investigation is not complete. This is a tragic time in our district, and we greatly appreciate your patience and understanding. Here to provide a short statement and not take any questions is our Uvalde CISD Chief of Police, Pete Arredondo. Would you like for me to do this again? Let's do this again, Pete. Sure. I apologize. I did not realize we were not on, and you probably could not hear what I was saying. I am Anne Marie Espinoza, Executive Director of Communications and Marketing for Uvalde CISD. This is a tragic time in our district, so please know the investigation is not complete. We will only be sharing a statement with you, not providing questions. We greatly appreciate your patience and understanding. Here to share a statement and not take questions is our Uvalde CISD Chief of Police, Pete Arredondo. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, again, briefly, as of now, we're still working on this active investigation. Uh, once we're able to provide information to the families, we will do so first and foremost, obviously. Our priorities is to get information to our families um, and, and give them some information. So please bear with us in regards to that. Secondly, once we do get some information that we can release to the public, we will be doing that. So please know once we do get uh, some information, we will share that with you and call another press conference. Um, let me assure you, the intruder is deceased and we are not actively looking for another individual or any other suspects in this case. Uh, we definitely ask you all to keep the family, the families that are involved in your prayers. Thank you so much. Here to provide a statement and not take any questions is our superintendent, Dr. Hal Harrell. Good evening. This was a tragic and senseless event today, and my, my heart was broke today. Our hearts and thoughts and prayers are with all our families as we go through this, this day and days to come. A few announcements that we need to make is beginning tomorrow at 10 a.m., we will have grief counseling and support at the Civic Center for our students, our staff, community members, anybody that needs to come uh, at that time. And we may be there more than one day, may be there several days. Our ROB staff will meet at 8 a.m. At, uh, at the Civic Center as well. We will begin with visiting with them and uh, seeing what those needs are. School will be closed. We, the school year's done. Uh, we'll have no school tomorrow or Thursday. All activities are canceled throughout the district. Uh, no graduation is on people's mind. We will come out with a, a notice on that at a later time. All the staff members, do, they will report to their campuses uh, other than Rob campus, which will come to the, uh, the Civic Center. Again, my heart was broken today. We're a small community, and we will need your prayers to get us through this. Thank you. Again, this is a tragic event in our community. We are very sorry that we cannot provide you more information, but greatly appreciate your patience and understanding during this very difficult time. We ask that you pray for all of the families affected. Thank you and be safe.